We light this chalice tonight during Kwanzaa, honoring Black families, culture, and community. Habarigani, what's happening? Ujama, cooperative economics. A few years ago, I made a commitment to only buy gifts from small businesses, especially those owned by people of color. Sometimes I come across something and think, oh, this is perfect for this particular person. And sometimes around when I am looking for a gift, I spend time using search terms like black owned stationery and checking out the about pages for different businesses to try to understand who owns them. Do I make this happen for every single gift every single year? Unfortunately, I don't. And this commitment did make it a little harder to do my shopping most of the time. And it was absolutely worth it. I've found so many great gifts for my family and friends by searching out small businesses to support. And I know that in those moments, my money makes a difference for them that it doesn't when I buy things at Amazon or Target. I get things beautifully packaged in the mail with lovely notes from the seller thanking me for buying from them. And I can imagine their joy each time they receive an order. Ujama, cooperative economics. The idea that we can support each other and make sure everyone has enough. By patronizing businesses, yes, but also by caring for one another in so many different ways. We live in a world that is often telling us that we should be earning and saving and gaining, but it doesn't necessarily tell us what should we should do with what we earn and save and give. Just hold on to it and let it grow and grow and leave it to sit. Or we can use it to support our beloveds, our communities, and those we have never even met. I know that the world I want to live in is one where we take care of each other. One where no matter what happens, our needs are met. Ujama means taking food to my friends when they are struggling, giving them an extra moment to breathe amidst everything. It means building relationships with the people at local businesses and taking the extra step to shop there even when it's harder. It means giving to my neighbors when they are in need, not because I expect anything in return, but because it is important to me that everyone is taken care of. So much of my life is only possible because others live into this principle. I'm lucky that my loved ones help support me so that I can do the ministry I'm called to do without worrying about whether it is financially sustainable. And in return, I try to live into this principle for everyone around me, caring for the people around me, not because I love them, though I do, but because that is the way that I want the world to work. I want people to not be worrying about where their next meal is coming from or whether they can afford the heat or the lights. I want people to be able to do the things that bring them joy and that then expand outwards and bring more joy into the world. But that's only possible through caring about and caring for one another in these ways. In the world that I want to be part of, we care for each other. That world doesn't have to be far away, beloveds. It can be here right now. Together, let us help that be so. Mm -hmm.